Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini's, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of March, 2020. All right, Gemini. Ooh. You guys do have very beautiful cards. All right, Gemini's. For the month of March, you do have here the star card. So the star card is signifying to me having or getting to a point in life where you have very clear, like very deep understanding. Um, your mind is very clear on what you're wanting to achieve, what you're trying to attain. I feel that for a lot of you guys, family is going to be very important for you guys for this month. Um, and it could be family as in the family dynamic, but it could also represent the desire or putting effort towards creating your own family or your own family dynamic. Um, now, I do want to say for a lot of you guys, there is a wish fulfillment that's coming um, that's coming towards you or that you will be experiencing for the month of March. Um, it's almost like for some of you guys, it could even be like a miracle or feeling like it's a miracle. Um, whatever it is you've been really, you know, stressed about or focused uh, really trying to either it, it's they're telling me it's almost like a feeling that you've been holding on to some type of faith uh, and with the star card you're going to be feeling the expansion the universe responding to you uh, and it's almost a, a blessing so again it, they're they're communicating it in a form of a miracle or feeling like it's a miracle in itself and it could be very connected to again the family dynamic or your children, if you have children. Now, in the past and passing, we have the Wheel of the Year, uh, which is a lot to do with what's happening right now with planet alignments and everything, as well as not just planet alignments, but as well as destiny is involved here. Now, we do have the Death card here, and the Death card does signify to me getting to the point of transition where our life changes completely. It could be a behavior. It could be like completely changing something about ourselves to make us a better person you do have the five of pentacles and this is what's on your mind so i feel that for a lot of you guys it could have been like the worry of not having enough or the worry of not being a not being able to feel that you're financially stable this is something you need to shed uh gemini or you need to let go of this type of fear so when i say that is a lot of the times when we come from situations based on our childhood what we experience usually when we have lack of we grow up feeling like when i have my kids or when you do have your kids you tend to overdo you over spoil you go above and beyond and the reason for that is because you don't want them to experience or feel whatever it is that you felt or you experienced yourself as a child but overdoing that sometimes um becomes an issue as well because then we have kids that grow up feeling entitled, feel like, you know, whatever it is that you do for them, it's almost like you have to instead of like truly understanding that there is hard work and determination behind making money. You know what I mean? So what they're saying here is that in regards to that, you may be experiencing or you may experience in the month of March um, almost like people are expecting things from you and like they're entitled and it doesn't necessarily have to be children. This could be your sisters, your brothers, uh, your nephews, your relatives, you know, your mother, your father type of energy. Um, so what they're telling you here is that although sometimes, um, the moment you're not able to do something for someone, they kind of hold that against you or there's some type of anger or they critique you or they judge you or they you know call you ungrateful whatever the situation is what spirit is telling you is do not hesitate do not hesitate to put yourself and your needs first so if they come to you if you experience in the month of march like people are coming to you asking for favors don't be scared and don't fear to tell them i can't 
not because of anything other than you got to make sure that you're good yourself. You can't help other people if you're not good. So you got to learn to say no, or you got to learn to put your needs or your family before anyone else's, even if it comes at the price of people judging you, people critiquing you, or just talking shit behind your back, basically. You have the Queen of Swords here, and this is your energy, Gemini. And the advice card here is sometimes we got to cut those links. Sometimes we got to cut. Sometimes we got to bring the sword down, basically, and stick to our ideals. Stick to, I need to start thinking of myself before anyone else. Sometimes being selfish is necessary because if not, people start to take advantage of that. And I feel that you're coming into your own Gemini, getting to that point. But if at any point in March you feel like people are kind of guilt tripping you or making you feel like you're responsible about something and it has nothing to do with you, what they're telling you here is don't doubt yourself that you're doing it to help them. Because sometimes people relying on you too much makes them, um, you're kind of helping them hinder themselves because then there's going to be a point in time that comes along where they got to stand on their own. And if they don't know how to do that, you did them a disservice. So I feel that for this month of March, there is a lot of blessings that are coming your way. But at the same time, there is like the feeling of some type of self-responsibility for other people. And what they're telling you is if you're able to do and you're able to help do it out of the kindness of your heart, not because you're expecting other people to praise you. Um, and if you can't, because let's just say the rent is due and you got to pay that uh, when someone's asking you for money, you got to learn to say no. Now, the energies currently influencing you or currently around you is the Two of Cups. So there is emotional support there. I do see this could be your partner. This could be your, you know, your husband, your wife, uh, or even friends around you um, that are there to give you that emotional support um, as well as, you know, the, the letting you know is sometimes you're not just, you're not responsible for everyone else. And you're not. No one is. You know, everyone... Uh, we can only change our life. We can change other people's lives. And sometimes people need to start uh, with themselves, you know? And, and like I said, if you shield them all the time, you're doing them a disservice because what happens when you're no longer around? Um, they just don't know how to function or they don't know how to survive because they solely depended on you. So again, I think that um, there's a lot of blessings coming for you guys for March as well as stability when it comes to finances. Um, but it's going to come at almost the feeling of a cost of getting to the point of having to say no to people. Um, and I feel you guys very like stressed about it. Um, but what they're saying here is don't pay no mind. Understand that you can't save other people. Other people need to do for themselves as well. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.